Tonight, a local teenager facing a serious charge after his Facebook post caused a security scare at a Raypeck High School. Darren Davis is charged with one count of making a terroristic threat. Hundreds of students did not show up for class today, worried about a mass shooting attack. Police said the threat was not credible, and Davis admitted he only made the comments to get attention. That charge against Davis shows even a simple comment on social media can lead to big consequences. Lindsay Shively is live at Raypack High School with a look at how quickly comments on social media end up with young people in trouble. Lindsay. Mark, it happens all over the world, and it really illustrates a couple of trends in our changing times. One, now when people see something, they say something, and you have to think before you post. The halls felt heavy at Raymore Peculiar High School. Ominous, like, kind of, it's hanging over everyone's head. All after Darren Davis got arrested. Parents, we want to inform you. Parents got this call, plus extra police came to patrol, and it all started online. The statements posted by a high school student on social media. Frightening posts like this surfaced this week, saying, Ray Peck is about to be the new Columbine, and don't go to school, there's going to be a mass shooting. This tweet says 600 didn't. School officials confirm about that many students stayed home, even though they found no credible threat, just social media posts. Consequently, this is exactly what is supposed to happen. And John Douglas just left his job as a police chief to take over security of the Shawnee Mission School District. He sees the swift response at Ray Peck as a needed change in our culture. No threat can go unnoticed, no matter who says it. A lesson learned by a Dutch teen in April, joke or not, the terrorist threat she tweeted to American Airlines got her arrested. And an Oak Grove student got suspended for three days in 2010 for comments she made on Facebook. Lessons hitting home at Ray Peck High. Life's too short for posting stuff like that. Because once you post something, you can't just take it back. From simple words to pictures and video, social media is no joke. They need to be aware of the serious consequences of things they may say on social media. And school officials point to parents as their lifeline. You're responsible to add the judgment that they don't yet have. So parents, will this be the cautionary tale you use to talk to your children about social media etiquette? And what do you say? Join our conversation on our Facebook page, KSHB.com slash Facebook. We're live, Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.